Hey guys, this is Comic Uno and Comic Frontline, and today I'm doing a review for Jessica Jones, issue 13. You can see it, I did get the lenticular cover. So it's kind of weird. You can actually see, uh, there's the Jessica Jones part. There you go. And also, you could see the regular cover in the interior. But uh, let's start talking about this issue, but before I jump in, I do want to remind everyone that we are covering every Marvel Legacy issue one uh, that is coming out, which is why I'm reviewing Jessica Jones, and we're all going to try to pitch in and, and review a couple of issues um, each week so we could cover every Marvel Legacy issue. Again, the issue one's for Marvel Legacy. But uh, let's jump in and start talking about Jessica Jones, issue 13. Now, I've been following the series, obviously, from the beginning, but I'm sure a lot of people are jumping on to Jessica Jones with Marvel Legacy. Uh, the cover is okay. I don't really know why we needed this Spider-Man cover for the actual Legacy one. Doesn't quite make sense to me why they picked that. So, oh, I guess because both are the pawns of Purple Man. Yeah, both of them are Purple Man, I guess. But still, not a fan of, uh, I guess, the throwback on in that way. But I guess it's hard to find a throwback for uh, Jessica Jones. But maybe Alias Issue 1 would have been a nice throwback. Anyways, going into the issue, which is Purple Man related, of course. And I really like this opening where we get to see all these different faces. And Jessica is explaining to Carol, of course, uh, that Purple Man is back and she's afraid. So she asks Carol, finally, she asks somebody for help. And she goes underground in this secret lair, and we, we just get to see Carol and Jessica talking about their, you know, her life and how things have changed. She talks about babies for a while <laughs> in the issue. I guess they're just showcasing her friendship. Uh, we get a little glimpse of Purple Man uh, previously before that trying to um, take over a young girl in, in the park. Uh, her name's Miley, so we'll see if that plays out in, into the future of the arc. Uh, but by the end, uh, we do get to see Jessica does contact Luke, thank God. So Luke is on the run. He knows what's going on. He's scared, too. And he's kind of going on his own mission. And then we see in the end the cliffhanger is that, the you know, their baby, Danielle, has been saying TD for some reason, you know, just not talking. Carol's like, is that normal? Does she not, you know, speak yet? And Jessica's like, no, she usually speaks. So this is kind of weird, but she doesn't really take anything up on it. But then she's talking in these uh, very adult sentences. So Purple Man is probably controlling uh, Jessica's daughter. And that's how the issue ends. So fear is definitely coming into the storyline even more. So what do I think of the issue? Um, overall, I think there is some interesting stuff uh, with this issue. I, I really like the creepiness of the ending. And I'm interested to see how, you know, this is going to involve Jessica's family, because obviously the original story was just about Jessica, and now we're really invol involving the whole Cage family. So I'm um, very interested in that. I, I like that Jessica does call Luke after all the things that's been going on with Jessica Jones in this series, that they've been kind of having a rocky relationship, especially with Jessica keeping things attached with Carol's uh, storyline. So... I'm glad that we get to, to see that Jessica's learning a bit from this issue. Uh, but my biggest problem with the issue is honestly the pacing. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of random scenes where Carol and Jessica, it's a fun scene, but them talking about babies for like five pages. And I don't know if that was necessarily needed. Uh, so it's a very slow burn issue. And I feel like the transition into Purple Man could have been better. Uh, I know last issue we had that clipping of Purple Man's back and Jessica's like, what? But I feel like because there wasn't that, you know, that reveal throughout the last arc, you know, having Purple Man, seeing him break out, doing those things, having him involved in the previous arc, I think would have helped a bit to get me fully invested into the storyline because it feels very quick and it feels like oh because Purple Man was popular in the Netflix shows let's add him again into the comics. It doesn't feel as organic as I want the story to be because it's a very important story. But overall I do think this issue is worth picking up especially if you've been reading Jessica Jones but I honestly like the Maria Hill storyline a bit more so far than the Purple Man storyline and uh, is it quite new reader friendly? 
I guess so. I think if you've read Alias in the past, it's new reader friendly, but I don't know if you should pick this up if you've never read a Jessica Jones book. So Jessica Jones issue 13 gets three and a half stars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.